The use of simulated technology saves the military a huge amount of time in terms of training, prevents technical wear of weapons and equipment, and helps support better operational decisions. Within NATO allies, the accessibility to various training platforms ranges from country to country. But what if there was a one-stop shop, like a Netflix platform, but for downloading, modeling and simulation applications and training software that any NATO ally or partner could use? That's exactly what's being created by a group of NATO scientists and representatives from industry. The biggest benefit for NATO and, and, and its allies is access to a broader spectrum of resources, uh, which almost immediately translates into better training and, and simulation capabilities, which then translates in, into higher readiness and, and better decision-making capabilities. The key stakeholders that, that would benefit from MSAS are typically training centers, either in NATO or in the nations, because they are the ones that, that run a lot of trainings and also the, the schools and, and the education providers in the nations. They have the requirement to provide training to their audience, to the units, to the brigades, uh, companies, uh, and so on and so forth. Obviously, before you go into war, you need to be prepared. And with war, you need a high level of preparation. So the idea is to make sure that before troops get deployed, they're well trained and prepared, and also immersed into scenarios that they might encounter during the operations. We really hope to get to more detailed simulation environments that better replicate the actual battlefield, that actually provides the training value that the audience needs. This is becoming more impossible for a lot of nations because the costs are prohibitive. Also, the subject matter expertise is not always available for all of these tools that you need to run these sophisticated exercises. Going down that route towards MSAS, towards pooling and sharing of resources, Maybe the only way for a lot of nations and, and, and stakeholders to execute the training that they need to execute. The next step is to expand this into an MSAS ecosystem where we include also additional stakeholders like industry, would provide innovative new services and, and make them available in a sort of marketplace where you as a user can, can basically pick and choose uh, the services that, that best satisfy your requirements. And, and really that's the idea to, to get to this ecosystem or marketplace approach where we have incentives for larger companies but also for smaller innovative players, startups uh, to provide services, provide data sets, innovative artificial intelligence stuff and, and, and whatnot and, and the user can select what, what he needs. It's really breaking new ground. So if you think about the fourth industrial revolution of AI, ML and additive manufacturing and you know, these new technologies are making a significant impact on everything that we do today and the warfighters' lives themselves. The AI services that large IT companies provide should be prevalent and at the hands of the warfighters themselves, just as typical uh, commercial off-the-shelf products would be. So the intent of MSAS is to really get the latest technology at the edge, which means that you are providing training and simulation capabilities that are the most current, the most affordable and the most effective at the point of need.